Hi, welcome to Nursing School Explained. In this video on the focused abdominal assessment, remember that when we assess the abdomen, we still always go in the head to toe fashion and assess all the things that we always do, but we're specifically gonna tune in to the abdominal um, region here. And remember that here, the order of assessment is a little bit different because we don't wanna disturb any bowel sounds by starting to palpate on the patient's abdomen. So we wanna inspect first, then auscultate, then percuss, and then palpate. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hi, my name is Petra, I'll be your nurse today. I'm going to do an assessment on you, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, great, let me do some hand hygiene here. And can you tell me your name, please? Steve Jones. Okay, and what year is it? 2022. Very good, and what brought you to the hospital? Uh, my stomach hurts. Okay, and where are you at right now? I'm at the hospital. Sorry, I kind of gave that away. Okay, what city are we in? San Diego. Okay. Okay, so first, I'm going to take a look at your eyes. So please look straight at the tip of my nose and the bright light coming here. And now the other side. Good. Open your mouth. And stick out your tongue. Okay, thank you. Now, let me see your hands here. Can you squeeze my fingers on both sides real strong? Okay, excellent. Pull me towards you and turn the hands around and push me away. Great. Check your pulses. And then also your circulation here. And if the patient had an IV, this would be a perfect opportunity to check the IV for any signs of infiltration. So next I'm going to assess your heart and your lungs. So I'm going to lower your gown. And I'm going to listen to your heart first. So just breathe nice and easy, okay? Let me warm this up for you. Okay, and now I'll be listening to your lungs. Every time I touch my stethoscope to your skin, please take a nice deep breath in and out through the nose. Okay, thank you. We can cover you back up here. I also need to listen to your back. Um, are you able to sit up or would you rather roll over to, to your side? I can sit up. Okay, thanks. Let me help you. Here we go. Okay. So again, please nice deep breaths in and out when I touch my stethoscope to your skin. Okay, just take a brief look at your skin here. All that looks good. Go ahead and lay back. Okay, so now I'm going to take a look at your abdomen here. So I'm just going to take a look first. And right off the bat, everything looks good. So I'm going to take a listen here to all four quadrants. You can just breathe nice and normally.
Remember that normal bowel sounds are about 5 to 15 in each quadrant per minute. So right away here, I heard the bowel sounds, I know that they are normal. Anything above 15 per minute would be considered hyperactive and anything below five would be hypoactive. In case you suspect or there might be absent bowel sounds, make sure that you take your time in each quadrant and listen for at least three to five minutes before you say that the patient has absent bowel sounds. Of course, you also need to let your patient know what you're doing so that they're not wondering what you're doing listening to each quadrant for three to five minutes because that might take quite a while. So after inspection and auscultation, we'll move on to percussion. So I'm going to tap my finger on your belly here. That hurts? A little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Over here? No. No, here? Okay, so now I'll, I'll press on your belly. I'll do the area that was tender last. Any pain here? No. Any pain here? Mm -hmm. Down here? No. How about up here? Yeah, That's bit. tender. Okay. I'll press a little bit harder on this side here. Any pain here? No. How about down here? No. And here? No. And here? Again, a little yeah. tender. I won't push too hard there now. When was the last time you had a bowel movement? This morning. Okay, very good. Let me cover you up here. And now I'll move on in to, the, to your lower extremities. So let me get you uncovered here. Can you press down against my hands like on a gas pedal? Great, pull your toes to your nose. Excellent. Bend that knee here, please. Kick your shin out against my hand and pull the calf back. Great, relax. Let me see the other side. Bend the knee, kick out against me and pull back. Good, now let me check your circulation. Nice strong pulses. And all the way down here. Okay, great, we're all done, thank you. Thank you for watching this video on the focused abdominal assessment. Please also make sure to check the other videos in the physical assessment playlist so that you know how to focus on different body parts and different areas that the patient might be admitted for. Thanks for watching Nursing School Explained, see you soon.